What is going on guys? Evolution here and we are back with some more immersive arc on the Ragnarok map. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So we are starting off the episode doing some breeding here. I found another 180 Bronto. We found this male here. So I decided to tame it up off camera and uh, I want to get an imprinted Bronto going. So we're going to get this egg. We're going to hatch it up and then I maybe want to do some sort of mobile base with it. We'll have to see exactly how that goes. And other than that, not too much has changed around the base. We've kind of just been chilling, working on resource crops, grinding some stuff. All right, we've got the Bronto egg here. So let's go ahead and hatch it by the base here. I don't think we're just going to be able to hatch it, hatch it. Don't think that's going to be a thing. It's too cold. Okay, we can make a bunch of torches here. I believe we should have all the resources. So let's just do this. Standing torch. Let's maybe craft five. Do all that. Beautiful. Throw them all around. They craft super slow. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world because we have to go in here and change the settings. There we go. You'll be on all the time now. Let's update you. Turn you on. Are we... Oh, we're good. Okay, we only need two torches. And we gotta wait about two minutes and 50 seconds. That's not too terrible. Hey, there we go. We got a Bronto. 271, so not any better, really. That's okay. All right, we got its first imprint coming. Please want a cuddle or a walk. Otherwise, we're gonna hatch another egg. Uh, a Marberry. Okay, well, we can do that. We can probably just grab him a Marberry right here. Mejo. Tinto. Azul. Okay, there we go. We finally got some of our berries after we picked up the entire ground there. So we got you 67% of the way imprinted. That's a good start. And uh, while we wait for the next imprint, I actually want to make up some turrets so we can get some firepower going on the mobile base. I think that would be amazing. We can actually make it up here to the base. We should probably just do some ramps. That could be a thing in the future. And I think we got to craft them in here, the fabricator. So if we just type in turret, oh, we have so many options. What do we want? Do we want rocket turrets? I feel like that's too expensive for us. Maybe we go with the auto turret. We're going to have to make a bunch of electronics first. So let's just do this. And turn you on. And then just do that. Alright, so we have an S plus mini gun turret. Which sounds just like an auto turret? What's the difference? Advanced sniper ammo. And then this probably just takes normal uh, rifle ammo. So this uses sniper bolts, which means it probably does more damage. I think we're just going to start with making the basic auto turrets. And then maybe we'll make... One of these? Oh, wow. We need how many electronics? Oh, we're pulling for four. I just want to pull for one. Yeah, we still need electronics. Okay, so we'll wait for that to craft up. Let's go check on the Bronto. It should be ready to imprint here pretty dang soon. Uh, it needs an Azul Berry. We can do that. And you're done. You're fully imprinted. We're sitting at 35,000 health, which I'm very happy to see. And I'm wondering what its movement speed is going to be, because that's going to be something that we really need to focus on, I have a feeling. All right, I'm actually going to hatch two more Brontos here just to see what we get. Maybe we get a fancy mutation or something. We might as well while we're waiting around for this Bronto. And we can check on the turret progress. If we can make this jump. Are we? No, we're not. We're terrible. We're literally the worst at jumping. It happens, though. We will improve over time. How are we doing on the turrets? Okay, so we have all four of those turrets crafted up. All right, now we just need to make a bunch of bullets. We have some gunpowder there. Let's actually craft up some more of that. Throw this in and... Ammo. Or I guess I could just do weapons. Ammo. And we need... Let's do 
500 of that. And then let's go 800 of that. We're probably going to craft up some more of these, though. All right, we've got a bunch of ammo made up here. We've got the advanced sniper bullets. We've got the advanced rifle bullets. We've got 2,500 of those. So hopefully that's enough. And then we got 32 rockets. Just because they're so expensive. I mean, we could probably make some more, and we might. Uh, but I think that's good for now. Okay, so we are back. It is actually the next day, and the Brontos are all fully grown. They're ready to go. I've got a platform saddle on this one, and I actually have a S plus Bronto saddle platform, which means we can go up here and snap this to this platform, like so. And uh, now we can actually snap structures to it a lot easier, and things are just going to be better. Let's just start doing something like this. Let's go two walls high. Uh, do we have our builder's hat on us? Could we make a builder's hat? Just makes placing things so much easier. And now we can just place things like that. So much quicker. And then we'll do... Something like that. I think that looks okay. And what I want to do, actually, is cover the tail and the head. Because I think that would be neat. Alright, so I was building on the Bronto a little bit, and I will show that off in just a second. But do you guys ever find yourselves when you're building an arc, you just start placing structures down, and then more structures down, and then all of a sudden, you're at like a thousand pieces, and you just have chaos everywhere, and it's just kind of gotten out of hand and way too big. Do you guys ever do that, or is that just me? Is that just me? I feel like that might just be me. Um, but yeah, there's the Bronto. So we've placed some things down. And by some things, I mean many, many walls. Way too many walls. We've kind of armored the entire Bronto. It looks a little funny with the neck. So unfortunately, we can't build out super far from the actual platform itself. There's a distance on that, so that's as far as we can go, basically, without it looking super weird. And then that's the back there again. Uh, but yeah, we've, uh, we've gone a little ways from the original vision. So let's just head inside here. So we've got all of this, and then I actually want to place some doorways here. So we're going to pick you up, place a doorway there, and then we'll do the same on this side. Place a nice little doorway there. And, oh no. Is this... They're snapped on different heights? Oh no. Building on a moving thing is not, uh... It's not easy. So clearly we've made a mistake there. Is that going to trigger anyone? Probably. I do apologize for that. And then I'm actually going to do... Do we want a doorway here? We'll do a doorway, but I don't think we need it. That's not where we want it. We... no. Let's try that again. There we go. That's fine. So we have a section on each side here, and this is where the turrets are going to go. We're going to have one turret in the front, a turret in the back, and then four turrets here on each side. And I think that'll be enough. I mean, they can't really shoot down, but... That's not too much of an issue, I'm hoping anyway, and if it is, well, we'll just kill him with the Bronto. Easy. And then I'm going to put the rocket turret on the back here, so we don't really have to worry about too much destruction and death. And then I want to have one more structure placed here, if we can get you to snap properly. No, we sure can't. Can we get you to snap properly there? We can. So let's do that. Oh my goodness. There we go. We can get that going. I'm actually going to pick up this ramp here. We don't need it. And then we're going to do something like that. And then another ramp going down there if we can get that. All right, so we've got those ramps down finally. That was a little bit of a pain. And up here, we're actually going to be placing the minigun turret with the sniper rifle bullets. That is what's going to be placed here. 
So that will hopefully have a decent line of sight on basically anything in the area. Alright, so I have all the turrets on me now. I believe we have enough. I only did 8 auto turrets. We technically need 10. But I feel like 8 is good enough for now. So we're going to do a turret like so. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to do a turret here. Like that. And another one there. Then place you there. Okay, that looks fine, I think. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. And then I'm hoping if I just put a generator in the middle, it'll be exactly what we need. And we don't need any other power than that. But we'll see if that works. We may have to do two generators, one on each side. Okay, that one kind of went to the side a bit. That's okay. There we go. That looks fine. And then... Go ahead and place the rocket turret down. Oh, this thing looks amazing. I'm a big fan of how this looks. Like that. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. And then our last turret, the minigun turret, we're going to throw up here. It basically looks the same. It's just, it's a bit bigger. A little heftier. And let's throw this down maybe just there. Grab the vertical cable. And... Is this going to power everything? Moment of truth? Yes? Oh, yeah. Oh, much powered. All the power. So let's turn all those on. You're powered. I really don't like that we can't run on here. It upsets me a bit. got to learn to walk. Okay, Bronto, relax. Okay, we're looking, uh, we're looking pretty good. Alright, so now we just have to make sure all the turrets have the proper range settings set. So we'll do that, and we'll do target type all, except you're just going to kill literally everything. Anything and everything. Alright, we have all the guns loaded, so let's go ahead and ride this Bronto. We can't really see all that well, but that's okay. We will figure it out. Oh, we're already shooting stuff. We're ruining things. And the Bronto is actually not super slow, which is very good. Uh, maybe we do a bit more stam here. So we can just kind of truck along. I feel like that's going to be the best play. I literally just can't see. Oh, here we go. Oh, everything dies. Oh, it's a turtle. We'll do a little bit of a swing. Can we kill the turtle? I don't think we can. Uh... Did our rocket just shoot itself? Our rocket just blew up. That is... That is unfortunate. Our... Why did... Why did that happen? Our rocket turret is just gone. That's classic rocket turret. Just classic rocket turret. Right, we're walking out. We're just shooting everything. Still have no idea what's happening. We need to find like a big target so I can see what's going on. Oh, this is going to be fun. There's so many dodos in front of us. Let's just murder everything. It's just a pteranodon falls out of the sky. That was great. Oh, all the jerk birds are dying. All the... D Poor dodos. I feel like we're bullying them. That's okay, though. Got a bunch of trikes up there. I hope we have enough ammo. I probably should have made way more than I did. Because it looks like we're just going to go through it so quickly. Oh, we're... We're literally slaughtering everything. There we go. We can see a bit better now. A turtle's alive. Not for long. A 
water and all the turtles. This is probably one of the most amazing things I've ever done in Ark. I just never use a Bronto. I mean, we could have done this on a Parachair Ethereum. Anything with a platform saddle, to be honest. But this is, uh... I'm enjoying this. We're just kind of walking around killing stuff. And... Not much to uh, complain about on that front. How long is it going to take to kill this Bronto? Probably a while. I think it's out of range. Oh, it's dead. Now we're just lighting up that turtle. Look at it. Look at it just tank shots. Oh, there's a Tech Rex up there. Are you an amazing level, Tech Rex? Because I don't actually want to kill you if you are. Uh, do we have a spyglass? I think we do. Oh, you're only a level 64. You look great. I'm a big fan of how you look, but we're going to head over to you and shoot you in the face. It's going to be a thing. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, it got obliterated. Absolutely obliterated. Oh, there's so many creatures up here. This is going to be amazing. That trike's dead. The Dilo's dead. Oh, yes. Oh, everything's just dying. Oh, it's so satisfying. Look at them shoot at those Brontos. I think they're going to run out of bullets soon. That's my prediction anyway. One more Bronto. Come on, finish that. I have such faith. It's out of range. Okay, we're gonna follow it. Dead now. This looks like it's gonna be a good field. So many small creatures in front. We're killing everything off to the side there. Oh, come on. We're killing a Fiomia. Poor Fiomia. Do a little bit of a turn here. There we go. Right through the middle. That's dead. That's dead. What is this Rex even doing in front? I think we're out of bullets in the front guns. Oh no, we just have no sound. It's almost like we're dino wiping the server. I guess whatever works. Oh, a lot of big creatures here. Just gonna soak up all the bullets. That... Are we out of bullets on that side? We might actually be. I think we are. Okay, they're still gonna die. All right, you know what, guys? This has been a ton of fun, but I think that's actually going to be it for this video. So remember to smash that like button and remember to subscribe if you guys have not already because it seriously helps me out. And uh, we got more coming soon. Have a good one. See ya.